On this episode of Crafting with Cats, I'm gonna show you how to make this from scratch. For today's craft, we're gonna make a joy plaque. Here are the items that you're going to need. Pick out your joy letters, make sure they're wide enough to at least stand. You can do this project with your letters freestanding, or you can do it like I'm going to, and screw it into a board like this, which will make it look like a plaque. That part is optional. So you will need your letters, paintbrush, scissors, Mod Podge glue. This stuff is amazing. Mod Podge high spray. I didn't even know they made this stuff. This stuff is awesome. Screwdriver and three nails if you're gonna do this option the way I'm going to. Your printer and kitty cats. The next step of course would be your paint. I am going to use red paint and black paint because this is going to be for Christmas time when I have this plaque. You can make it for any season though. So you're going to take your black paint. I got this at Packetans for 50 cents. You're going to paint this part here all black and the side is going to be red. Next, I'm gonna paint the sides red. Now that I have the letters painted, I'm going to work on painting the board for the plaque. And this part, again, is optional. Now that the board is painted, I'm going to start printing out my photos. You want to print your photos out in black and white for this craft. Next, you're gonna cut out your photo. Your photo should be small enough, maybe like a two by three size. Now that I have my photos printed out, I'm gonna lay them down and cut around them to make sure that they fit the right size. Later, we're gonna fill in the parts that don't connect with extra pieces from what you cut out from your photos. Next, you're gonna take your scrap pieces, your leftovers from your photos, and you're gonna kind of piece them where they look like they could fill in better. That way you don't have all the visible black parts. So you could just take it and then cut it, lay it down, same thing, take an extra piece and cut it. Next, you're gonna use Mod Podge. I chose the Gloss Luster. It, Mod Podge is glue. It's special for putting your picture onto wood or plastic. It's a water-based sealer. This is gonna allow you to get your pictures to stick. You're gonna Mod Podge the back of it, then place it down, and then you're gonna wait 20 minutes and then Mod Podge over on top. You have to wait 20 minutes because the ink will bleed and you don't wanna read your pictures. So you're gonna get a little bit of your Mod Podge on the back of your photo. And do this as fast as you can. Place your photo where you want it. It's gonna dry pretty quick. And then push inward out to get any bubbles. You can still move the photo if it's not in the correct spot.
Make sure that you waited 20 minutes after Mod Podging your photos down because you don't want the ink to bleed. So now that I waited 20 minutes, I'm going to Mod Podge over the photos. This is going to dry clear. Use a damp towel to get off the excess where it's dripping, because it will dry and harden and you don't want that to be visible. The next part, you're gonna take your Mod Podge, and this is super high shine spray. This part you don't have to do, I recommend it. This makes it look amazing. Basically, it's a clear acrylic sealer and you're gonna spray it over the pictures. You wanna do it in a well-ventilated area like outside in your garage or outside of the house. You're gonna quickly spray all over the part with just the photos, not the edges. Make sure you shake your can really well before you start spraying. And I already did that. And then you're gonna move fast as you do your coat. You wanna do one coat at a time and then wait possibly 20 minutes or longer before doing a second coat. The next step is using your tape measure to line everything up and make sure it's nice and even. Um, the top of my pictures are probably still wet because they do need to cure for 24 hours with the high shine spray. So I'm gonna make sure I don't touch the top, I'm just gonna touch the sides. Where my line is that I drew with my pencil, I laid the letters across them to make sure they were even. Then I counted four inches from here to there with my tape measure is four inches. From this end to this end is four inches. And then I kind of just eyeballed it here to line them up. Next, I'm gonna make a mark in the middle of the letter to make my hole on the plaque if you're going to do this part. I'm gonna make a mark in the middle of the letter and this is where I'm going to use my drill and screw in here. Next, I'm gonna take my three nails and my drill. Taking one nail at a time, I'm gonna place the nail right by the X in the middle of the line, and I'm gonna drill it in. Now you're gonna go backwards and bring it back out. Place your nail on the bottom and then line up your letter above it and then you're gonna drill through the letter with your screw. And then you can kind of adjust it if it's not straight because it can still move. The craft is now complete and you can personalize it just like I did. Thanks for watching Crafting with Cats and Me. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.